Welcome to Facebook for the Blind, your look at the downfall of Western civilization through the best memes we can find each week. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of the week we like to celebrate Facebook for the Blind, the show for the visually and Facebook impaired. And we have some very funny, funny memes with my co-hosts, Quiet Michael Labune, this month's MVP. Hey. And Andrew Tedi, this month's employee of the month. Now with added mental health issues. And chairman. <laughs> <laughs> and chairman of the board, brain damage. Oh, I figured it out. <laughs> Dude's already 100% better. It's fucking great. Woo! Woo! How the fuck do I turn this thing off for everybody? I gotta go one at a time. And they are gonna have some funny, funny memes. We and they and all of us, some funny, funny memes. But first, a patented, trademark, copyrighted part of every single episode of Facebook for the Blind. You know it. You love it. You want it. Do you, do, you, do you know and want know what I'm talking about? We 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 might even need it. Maybe it's true. I'm talking about the depressing news. We're number one. That's right. All kinds of crap going on. People talking about the pro-Palestinian protests. A lot of grumpy old men bitching about college students uh, on college campuses right now. A lot of talk about the Israel-Hamas war. Uh, a lot of talk about the House anti-Semitism bill, which did a whole lot of other stuff besides that and looked like a complete uh, scrapping of free speech and was absolutely terrible. Of course, the disgraced former president is engaged in about 19 million different uh, uh, court battles. So that's just boring. Uh, let's see here. Oh, pot has been reclassified. They're going to make it schedule three instead of schedule one. So up there with Tylenol with codeine, which is cool. Uh, Trump's in the news. Blink is in the news. Marjorie Taylor Gray. These people are all boring. Uh, let's see here. The uh, hush money trial keeps going on. There's a bunch of gag orders being violated all over the place. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Trump has been uh, fundraising off of the judge's contempt ruling in the hush money case. Um, so that sucks. He's actually making money off this crap and fundraising because he's being so persecuted. By the way, too, if you were looking for a picture of the disgraced former president, you're out of luck because I have a plug in there places all pictures of him with pictures of kittens. It's called Make America Kittens Again, and I highly recommend it. They're our sponsor, brought to you by Make America Kittens Again. So, uh, my, my favorite sponsor. There we go. This is my favorite part of the entire week. Uh, Jake Tapper was reading the courtroom coverage live off of tweets or what, I don't know, whatever. And he says, I apologize for this update. But he had to read straight from the court reporting uh, on Von Schittensen pants that was tweeted mm. during uh, Trump's gag order hearing, which is very funny, man. Um, Von Poops in pants, Von Schitts in pants. And they made Jake Tapper say it on the air. And it was adorable. And if you weren't there, you were missing out. Meanwhile, there's an absolute idiot in the Congress, uh, I believe, from uh, Arkansas. Am I right? Arkansas. Yes, Tom Cotton. You might remember Tom Cotton uh, from just being a, a stupid piece of wood hanging out in the Congress. <laughs> uh, even the Arkansas Times is basically saying bloodthirsty Tom Cotton is going to get someone killed because he is a robotic, knee-jerk, um, xenophobic, and really just an all-around bastard. Uh, NPR published a fantastic fantastic coverage of when judges get free trips to luxury resorts and then their disclosure is real spotty and you're like oh you're talking about the supreme court no lots of judges all kinds of federal judges federal judges all over the freaking place it's freaking terrible an entire branch of our government is completely corrupt and i'm sick of it uh and one of those judges eileen cannon you, you you might remember you might remember eileen cannon She's uh she's she's been uh, uh now like I said uh, hey uh, what about those uh, non disclosed luxury trips and she's just like no it's totally cool to go someplace and get everything paid for and rake in lots of money and not disclose it and, you know it's all just you know whatever because there's no consequences no accountability in a stinking country and I don't think these people understand how close we are to pitchforks and torches. Did somebody say something? <laughs> Anyway, uh, also, of course, we had the Stormy Daniels trial coming up here in the New York Times had the darker side of Stormy Daniels testimony. Nothing really uh, tremendous in there that we didn't know about before. But I did find out from this that uh, she kept in contact after 
uh, the liaison that we all found out about, even going to another hotel with him uh, because another time because she wanted to expand her career. And he was dangling an opportunity to appear on The Apprentice. Uh, and yet there are a lot of times when Daniel's words uh, described an encounter that were just really creepy. She said she blacked out, then lay naked, stared up the ceiling, felt like the room spun in slow motion, that the blood left her hands and feet. And when it was over, she fumbled with her shoes, gold strappy heels. She had trouble fastening because her hands were shaking so hard. And ultimately, she blamed herself and said, I just thought, oh, my God, what did I misread to get here? Much like many of us. Uh, checking in on the current score, it is 88 charges that Trump is facing in four separate indictments in four separate courtrooms. And uh, as we uh, check in on the game, it looks like it is currently stalled. Very slow. Governor Christy Nome, that's right. Governor Christy Nome still in the press. Uh, apparently that dog, uh, the book where she wrote about, you know, shooting a puppy. Uh, she also says that she met with Kim Jong-un and the State Department was like, no fucking way. <laughs> never even close <laughs> so she's backpedaled now christy no admits that she did not meet kim, kim jong-un as she mentioned in her book and she's doing an awful lot of backpedaling for a book entitled no going back <laughs> <laughs> friend of the show joe just says subtitle how the gqp taught me to tell lies with the utmost confidence since my voting base is so gullible <laughs> it's like, yeah that checks out Hey, and good news, all those grumpy white men who are complaining about the encampments on the college campuses, a lot of them were saying, well, what do they hope to accomplish? And I was like, did you look at their demands? Because it's not that hard. You could just read them. <laughs> and students at Brown University just secured a vote on divestment, which is what they wanted. So guess what? Tore down the camp and a cheer of victory, because that is success. They disbanded their encampment. The university pledged to vote on divestment from companies affiliated with Israel, and no police were involved. Guess how many injuries and arrests there were? None. <laughs> Next up, hey, up there in South Canada, check it out. Your pro-Palestinian protesters at the University of Minnesota reached an agreement to end their encampment. And again, uh, the uh, encampment was starting to be torn down, as I understood it, and they were cautiously optimistic, but they were the same. They were demanding accountability and transparency on the investments. They want to look at the divestment plan. So that is moving forward which is absolutely hilarious to me that that's, you know, that's, that's success. That is what's, that's what's happening there. Let's check in with a word from our sponsor. Uh, this one's been brought to you by Clay Foley, who says he's been living a lie for four years. It's time to come clean. None of those fully informed sponsors paid him a dime. <laughs> I know it. I know, right? Scandal. Uh, wow. I know, I know. So this episode of Depressing News from Facebook for the Blind brought to you by Microplastic. Why? That's right. Not great. 100% fish-free. Now with 100% more microplastics. Mm -hmm. And descent pins. Uh, they have this new Republican chore wheel, uh, Wheel of Blame, which is really cool. You can spin the little dial around, and it says, this is the worst show on earth, the Republican chore wheel of blame. You spin the dials, and it says, I can't mow the lawn because the elites flattened my full-size Noah's Ark replica. <laughs> the... <laughs> Descent pins. I, I know, I need one too. Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, police have been really unhinged, and I know that we officially are brought to you by ACAB because she's like a lot of evidence over the four years of this show. Uh, Natasha Leonard says, I've covered violent crackdowns on protests for 15 years. This police overreaction was unhinged. City College of New York, April 30th, my birthday, when police attacked student protesters because a lone trash can was the only damaged property anyone saw around the City College of New York. Serving and protecting. Serving what? We don't know. <laughs> protecting what? Clearly property. Trash cans. <laughs> very, very high on the list of things to be, to be protected. Uh, of course, uh, it was May 4th uh, recently, and everyone on social media today, here's Ralphie dressed as Princess Leia saying, I'm a Star Wars, because that's about, about what was happening. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> um, but, uh, nope, that's not, oh, 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 it, oh, is that it? Oh, God, that's, no, that can't be it. That can't be it. That, that can't be it. Somehow, wait, hang on a second. 
We'll edit this part out. We'll edit this part out in post. Oh, there we go. We'll fix it in post. Yeah. Totally. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> hey, speaking of micro... Speaking <laughs> Dang it. Speaking of microplastics, microplastics have now been found clogging human arteries. Yeah, did you know that? This is as good a smoking gun for plastics as we've seen. Looks like, uh, speaking of smoking, as bad for you as smoking. They get all caught up in those uh, plaques that are in your arteries and stuff and just coat them with a thin coating of plastic. And I know you say to yourself, well, maybe that's a protective coating. Maybe that'll help. Maybe I'll be innocuous. <laughs> but probably not. <laughs> Diameter also, matters. Say Diameter. what? Diameter matters. Diameter matters. Yeah, and these little things, they don't get smoothed out. You'd think running around floating in the ocean for all that time, they'd get all smoothed out like little sandy pebbles. But no, they're sharp little ninja stars of plastic stuck in your arteries, just collecting lint. Uh, futurism, also, uh, again, a second from uh, the... God damn it. Second from... Get off my screen. Second, this is from The Bite, uh, but, which is a division of Futurism.com. If you're not reading Futurism.com, uh, I don't know. Let's hear this headline. The, UN, <laughs> the UN's <laughs> climate chief says we have just two years to save the planet. So They say they say this shit every couple of years. I don't know. Oh, no. Like about five, six years ago, they said it was 14 years. Now they've shortened it to two. So huh. two years to save the planet. And I don't know if you've checked in with humanity lately, but uh, clearly we're doomed. So, uh, yeah, party on. We've had, yeah, we've had a good run. Um, yeah. Yeah. This motherfucker's coming to a close in two years. Yep. So, pretty much. I mean, we 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 know what to do, and we can make some dramatic uh, reductions in greenhouse gases, but uh, we're not gonna. So we're all gonna die. So I'm saying, party on, Garth. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this one was a fun one, man. Forbes magazine and other sources reported that a dentist was shocked to find ancient human jawbone stuck in human floor tile. This is an actual picture of the floor tile. This shape <laughs> of a mandible. I hear Beverly. And, uh, yes. <laughs> let's check it out, too. He's undisclosed because he doesn't want to be doxxed. But old boy was just like over at his parents' house. And they're like, check out the new tile floor. And he goes, check it out. Oh, my God. I think I worked on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely crazy. So the uh, stone that it is uh, that it is uh, in here uh, would make it like maybe half a million to a million years old. Like a really old human dude. And yet, you know, human beings haven't really changed that much, as you know from looking around. Uh, <laughs> like close out with a nice uh, human interest story. Sorry, a, a cute animal story. And I found this picture of this uh, bird Aww. the size of a bee. Uh, I, I, di I didn't. I didn't verify it. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this is probably absolute bullshit. But it was cute, and it was a placeholder until I found the real story, which was this insane thing. Uh, there was a whale who was giving birth uh, off the coast in False Bay, which is in Britain somewhere. And hundreds of dolphins appeared out of nowhere and swam in circles around her to keep the sharks away while the while the whale was giving birth. They stayed with her and her baby until they were safe. Then they escorted them to safety. Look at that. Just Hell yeah. Crazy. The ladies, the ladies. Like animals are better than humans. Oh, totally. I know. When's the last time? How the time fuck are they talking? You know what I mean? But, like, how are they talking here? Do they, all the Seattans have like their own language, man. They use hypersonic. I don't trust right? it. I don't trust it. Oh, no, no, I trust mm. these fuckers more than I trust us humans. There you go. There you go. Yeah. But, great point. And I trust them more than bears, despite the fact that they're documentedly rapey. Mm. <laughs> but sorry. Uh, how cool is this, though? Dig in my entire life, did I ever think that I'd see something like this? How kick ass is that? Big whale right in the middle of giving birth. It's just a whole herd. They're like I'm swirling around. A big spot. Amazing. There's a bajillion of them. Isn't that incredible? Super cool. Super yeah. yeah. Cool. For our listeners, it's a it's a bunch of dolphins. Oh, it is a bunch of I mean, we're talking hundreds. Hun hun it's gotta be hundreds. Hundreds. It's hundreds of dolphins swimming in a concentric circle 
around a whale and just absolutely stunning to me. So there you go. Uh, Playing animals, away from a shark. Animals of the planet giving me hope. Humans of the planet, zero. But I, I want to know from our I want to know from our bird expert is was that bird uh photo true? Was that an actual yes. real bird? A bee hummingbirds are real hummingbirds. A very, very, very microly small hummingbird. Oh my god, right. I got I got reverse fact checked because I was like, this is <laughs> no way this is real. It's too adorable. <laughs> you were betting it was bullshit. I was. I, I'm so well, that's skeptical. That's what you said, Eric. That's why, since we have a bird expert, I wanted to get it either verified or not verified. Fabo, well <laughs> done. All right, excellent. Well, that, that wraps up the news portion of Facebook for the Blind for May 7th, 2024. Now, after my beautiful co host, Michael Labune, with some funny, funny memes and a nice average American sized round one. Round one. Hey, Sammy. What? Oh, okay, here comes a big, long round one. What? I said, hey, Sammy. Oh, hey, Sammy. Uh, starting off our uh, wholesome round with Nerteka at Miss Geo Baby one She has a poll, and she says, would you ever shit in the club? Ooh. And then you can, you can vote yes or no. Uh, but somebody else chose a third option, and they just replied and said, yes. <laughs> and... <laughs> 2022 wrote, wrote, you can vote privately. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have friend of the show, Humans Without Context. Without Context, that's at Humans No Context. We have a picture of a runner who's like grimacing. And uh, behind him, there's a picture of like a, of like a body, but just muscles, like no skin, just seeing like how all the muscles and stuff, some like something you'd see in science class running directly behind him, except uh, the runner is labeled the game developer trying to make new levels and right directly behind him, this skinless body is labeled 40 year old moms playing candy crush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Asian news uh, reported uh, this picture of a pit bull holding a brick in his mouth. They're reporting that a man was arrested for training a dog to throw bricks at people who ring his doorbell. I, <laughs> I saw this, and I'm actively training my Shih Tzu. Yeah, respect, respect. Aphid at Leaf Buggin says we're about a year and a half out from this, and uh, it's a picture of what looks to me to be a vape <laughs> and an old school iPod. You guys remember those? <laughs> like the oh yeah. The spinny. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> I got that vape actually. I like this. This is from Buffy at Buffy's, and uh, she posts a picture of Demi Lovato, or she's reposting this. There's a picture of Demi Lovato, and uh, the person comments, "Queen, wait, they're non-binary, monarch." <laughs> oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I love it. <laughs> At who the fuck is Mick? Uh, it says, quote, unquote, yeah, yes, bro. Summer is better than winter. And then it says the summer. And it's just a picture of a really depressed stick figure in bed who's actively on fire and oh. being eaten by mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, only got, I only got two more. Uh, Mason Meninga, friend of mine, friend of the show, Mason Meninga, at Mason Meninga. He has this picture of Dan Levy from the Met Gala. And I really have to describe this. Dan Levy is wearing, I really don't, I don't even know how they made this. I, It's a suit, and the top half of the oh. suit is just a black tuxedo. And then it, somehow they made it like fade slowly. Yeah. And then into this really bright floral pattern. So his top half is like, is like, very 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 formal, black suit, black shirt. His bottom half is very floral. Mason says Southern Baptist preacher up top, gay Episcopal priest down below. <laughs> <laughs> and my last meme for round one, the wholesome round comes from Payne B. Wyland at Payne B. Wyland, who says I'm built different. Like incorrectly, I think. 
Word. Just built different. And that's all I got for round one. Kicking it over to brain damage. Dude, I had I seen that one too, and then I lost it. <laughs> With the Pain B. Wyland one? Yeah. Or I, I don't know if it was the same person that posted, but definitely built incorrectly. Yeah. <laughs> we have like so just the disclaimer for tonight, I've got a few that I I, I I had found one of those meme war pages and some dude like, like Matthew Smith both posted a bunch of memes. Mm. So any unnamed memes was some dude named Matthew Smith. And I was like, fuck it, that's too much of an NPC name for me to actually crop you in, bro. Mm -hmm. So here we have You're Lionel right. Richie. And he says, hello, is it memes you're looking for? Uh, <laughs> nice. Here we have Gaming Lair, friend of the show, said, how dare you? And here we have the ghoul from Fallout. And he says, four-year-old me when my dad wouldn't give my nose back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, huh. here we have that shit's funny. It says, I'm in a Walmart parking lot watching a woman who can't remember where she parked. Every time she holds her remote in the air, I honk my horn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have Thundercats oh, and Silver Clouds. <laughs> and we have Lion O. Richie. And it has Lion O. But Rich <laughs> Lion O. Richie's face. Super Hell no. <laughs> and then, and then after I found this, like, like a few days, I saved this, and a few days later, I think Corey Showtime Robinson had posted, but I was like, you know what, Showtime, I got it first. So I already had it cropped. I wasn't going to crop it again. If, if you don't like that one now, it'll be, you'll be in. Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Creative ideas posted too funny, and it has a man. Standing in the ocean, and one fish is looking at his fish in one of the man's fart bubbles, and the fish is saying, "Help! He's floated outside of the water." <laughs> I don't think, I don't think "floated" is a word. <laughs> Not even the librarian co correcting me on that one. Appreciate that, Eric. <laughs> we have gaming layer again. Said such liars, and a uh, Kate sent at sensual solitude. I can't fucking pronounce that. Said. <clears throat> It has a, a picture of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, and it says Travis Nation posted the it couple. <laughs> and Katie posted, not going to lie, I doubt either one of them could fix my computer. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, Gaming layer again, reposted puns. What a fascinating language Jordan Mendoza posted. Oh my God, I didn't know Google Translate does Australian. And it says, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming this evening. Australian, Shayla's and Gentle Joyce, Boomerang, Boomerang, Shrimp, Hugh Jackman. <laughs> <laughs> Here we've got dad jokes. And it says, how to say hi in Mandarin. And someone spelt out hi in some Mandarin oranges. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Here we go. Comics Road. It has uh, two people walking a dog, or two people meeting it. One's walking a dog, and he says, "Sometimes I regret using his name as my password. Now every time I forget it, I gotta call him something new." <laughs> <laughs> and here's my last one for for this round. We have Gaming Layer again posted animal memes and says. Whoa. This cat had a skin infection, so her owner tried applying some turmeric to treat it. As a side effect, it turned her into a Pikachu, and that is just <laughs> the cutest pinche gato I've ever seen in my life, so wow. I had to put it on here. Oh, my gosh. I want to pet that thing so bad. <laughs> I want to smell that thing so bad. <laughs> Passing it off to you. Try to be cuter, Eric. Try to be cuter. <laughs> Oh, oh I go to TV. Sorry, challenge. Oh, wow, you, you throw me off with this. Sometimes here, sometimes not. Hey, I only got, like, I only got like one my... eye, and now you're positioned to the right to me. So I know. Hey, it's spot. just like my stand. My appearances are just like my sanity. Sometimes I'm here, sometimes I'm not. All right. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's time. Hi. It's time for that thing I occasionally do. Um, TD's often imitated, <laughs> never, never duplicated, world famous short round one. Brought to you by our sponsor this uh, week. Um, as soon as it pops up here. Oh, wait, crap. Sponsor? Yep. God damn it. 
I, I told you. Uh, he had been told for our audience. Eric had been told. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to fluster you. Yeah. For our I, listeners, I, Eric is visibly flustered. Eric is visibly flustered. I'm sorry, dude. Lebune, shut up. Be nice. Ah. <laughs> All right. In addition to reminding me to send the email. <laughs> <laughs> I will remind you again that I do this. Yes. Yeah. yeah it's just a d- thing. Uh, I fuck me. Okay. I don't. I. Oh, God damn. It. You know what? Fuck the sponsor. There we go. Okay. Never mind the sponsor, bit Jesus. Okay. Hey, let's get into this wholesome round thing. From hey. uh, wait, this is wholesome. It says, this dog party looks more fun than anything I've ever been to in my entire life. And it's just a bunch of pictures of these very happy doggos jumping into a pool. And I don't know if there is an afterlife, but I want it to be this fucking thing right here. Good times. Hell yeah. (laughs) This picture kind of looks like it stinks, though. uh, You know what? Not the best smelling environment, but damn, it'd be happy. It'd it'd be hard to be (laughs) mad, dude. I'm just saying. Yeah, they'd be happy. I get the sense they're on a horse farm. I smelled horse farm. You know what? I I, I think I can yeah. agree with that. Yeah. The fencing what? around the pool, the number yeah, that, of that, dogs. This, yeah, this, this, yeah. Yeah, this, yeah, this sounds like horse girl behavior. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is some kind of working dog work retreat. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm going to tell you right now, those dogs sleep inside. <laughs> on the bed. Yeah. Yeah. Your bed. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Uh, surviving the dream. We'll just keep it a little bit wholesome here still. It says, why does this mean? It says, when I say the other day, it could be any time between yesterday and my birth. Yes. Yeah. That's the proper use of that phrase. Yes. <laughs> I, I yeah, No flaws in this logic. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Next up. <laughs> We'll still keep it kind of wholesome here with Liberty Memes, Google Plexian, hmm. friend of the show. Hmm. I thought you'd be impressed by that. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a picture of a bunch of old-timey dudes uh, with standard on some musical instruments. It says, hey, man, I heard you trying to start a band. Yeah, man, what instrument do you play? The gun. And sure enough, <laughs> if you look in the back, there's a guy holding a damn pistol. <laughs> <laughs> back before they had soundboards, kids, yes. they didn't have to shoot blanks in the studio. Dude, I love it too. The guy holding the microphone, wearing the headphones, carrying the tape recorder, is also mouthing a cigarette all at the same time. That's oh, yeah. that, that that that's like the the granddaddy of sound engineers, there, folks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, next up, still keeping it very wholesome with this one. Uh, Royal Tathlon at Royal Tathlon. Uh, it says, I just can't. I just learned about this panda that grimaces when she breaks bamboo because she had no panda teachers and noticed her humans making that face every time they broke some bamboo for her. <laughs> and sure enough, it's just a little panda, but she, she's looking so freaked out when she's snapping the bamboo because that's what the keeper did. That second face. <laughs> oh that, that is just the cutest shit I've ever seen. And I've seen some cute shit. I have a puppy. I mean, come on. Aww. Yay. All right. Like I said, I've been trying to keep it wholesome, but I think I might be starting to fall off the rails right about here. Uh, yes. Mandy Stafford at Mandy Stafford has a picture here of April O'Neil from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon uh, from the 80s. Uh, and she's got this very, um, well, good to the expression in a moment. It just says, when he tries to put it back in and accidentally cowbungas you right in the sewer hole. Oh my! And, yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it wholesome, but I, I think I think I'm starting to mess up here. Right. Let's, see, let's, see if I, let's see if I redeem it with the next one. You know what I think is nice though is that you didn't describe the face, but we all knew what it looked like. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I think I can get you there. I just want to point out that the sewer hole uh, is actually technically called the manhole. Oh, Michael! All complaints to Michael Labune at Michael Labune at Facebook for the blind. (laughs) Michael dropping the personal manhole knowledge. (laughs) Okay, uh, let's see if I can bring back the wholesomeness here with the horny police, friend of the show at the horny popo. 
a picture of a woman who is um half naked of uh, looking very seductive and oh by the way she's missing most of her uh right arm and leg <laughs> And um, somebody comments, uh, keep inflating her, mate. That knee and arm should pop right out with a bit more air. So that's my problem. <laughs> I just need a little bit more compression. I can pop my foot right back out there. Yeah. <laughs> I am not giving you mouth to mouth. That... Party pooper. All right. I'll see if I, let's see if Jason Jester can bring back the wholesomeness here. Hey, uh, Jason. Yeah. Friend of the show, Jason Jester here. Uh, says, yeah. Says I'm not yet a grandpa, but uh, it just says grandpa's left nut waiting for him to realize it's hanging out of his shorts. And it's this um, elderly dude kind of dressed like a bad Elvis impersonator impersonating a bad impersonator of Elvis barefoot on a beach with his foot propped up on some driftwood. I don't get it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. This is this. What's this actor's name, though, man? This is a famous I, actor. I don't know. I, I, he's got the. He's got an Irish name. Hang on. Wait. wait stop. Is, it's not going to make it any funnier. Moving on. Okay. <laughs> you. Danny, okay. This, Danny this McBride. Will... It's Danny McBride. Danny McBride. Was Danny McBride. Danny. Yeah, it was. Danny oh, from righteous. Oh, it's Danny McBride. Okay. Right, from righteous, see righteous it. gemstones. You fucking, right, well, horse. you fucking, right. fucking, you nope. fucking people, you. <laughs> I didn't want to go back. Somebody asked to. You didn't right. want to go back because you didn't want to see that I'm right. No, I didn't want to go back because I don't give a shit. All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the last one I got for the short round one here uh, from uh, Grant Malco reposting from Okie Jokey. Says my hometown isn't perfect, but at least we have Titty Mountain located in Lawton, Oklahoma, only in the south. <laughs> First off, Oklahoma is not the south, but uh, yes, it is a uh, rock mountain that looks like a tit with a little nipple and everything. And um, <laughs> this is actually true. I was uh, stationed at Fort uh, Sill, Oklahoma, in Lawton, Oklahoma, and I have seen Titty Mountain. I bet a lot of people on that base are staring at that. Yeah, especially about six <laughs> weeks in the basic, brother. All right. Um, that's all I got for the short round one. Uh, yeah, keep it wholesome. Over to you, Sizemore. Awesome. Awesome. The wholesome round one. One of my favorite rounds of all the rounds. I mean, I like all <laughs> But the whole three for sure. Yeah. The wholesome round has a special place in my heart. It comes first, you know. <laughs> uh this is a news story that was posted by uh, uh, in uh, you know a retail business coverage. It said, "Exclusive: IKEA is rolling out its third round of price cuts in a year across thousands of products as it eases shoppers' inflation pain." And More Perfect Union says, "So it is possible." <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Mm -hmm. uh, this next one, I just you know, brevity is the soul of wit. So I found this to be brief. Uh, this is someone's alma mater statue swathed in Palestinian flags. And it says, if you're bothered by the encampment, look away like you do for genocide. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Right. Cho Long now has reposted the al alcoholic academic who has millennial sopranos with a picture of a soprano saying, university administrators, I told you, they're glorified property managers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this was an absolutely epic roast. Tom Brady got uh, got triggered at his own roast by Jeff Ross. Did you guys happen to see this? Yeah. Yep. Did, you, did we all watch it live? How hilarious is that? I I what I wanted to tell you when in our local portion of the news was that uh, my my good crazy friend Bethy invited uh, both Tom and Sandy and a whole bunch of other people over to the party, and I showed up and it was me, Tom, and Sandy and Bethy. So I was like, cool, they're going to narrate through this whole thing. They're NFL <laughs> people, so they got to tell me all the backstories and everything. And <laughs> they explained to me this joke that triggered Tom Brady, and he stepped over there. So apparently Kraft, uh, the guy Kraft that they made fun of, uh, uh, he says – he says, Tom Brady showed up on the first day of work, and he says, I'm the best decision you ever made. And would you like a massage? Because he got busted in a massage parlor with prostitutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, well. <laughs> and, and Tom was like, don't say that shit again. And, and, and the thing is, is that if you watch, if you rewatch it, Jeff Ross is going, ah, it's a fun night. There's no rules here, whatever. But what I want to see is when he gets back on the couch with Nikki Glazer and goes, do I have a job? Should I leave the country? <laughs> when he's off camera. I am curious what the effects were. Anyway, it was an absolutely fabulous time. And if you haven't seen Nikki Glazer and uh, I think it was uh, Tony Hinchliff, uh, those two are great. The rest of it, I found actually upon reflection to be, um, I, I was just stunned. Uh, they wrote all these jokes, these millionaire football players and coaches picked them out. And there were so many street jokes, oh, yeah. jokes and gay jokes. And I was like, think about this. So they hired comedians and they wrote stuff. And then these guys were like, I like the gay stuff. <laughs> yeah. And then they were like, it'll be funnier when I read it off a teleprompter because I'm a professional non-comedian. <laughs> right. Um, and yeah, I was talking to Judah Friedlander about it last night. Yes, that Judah Friedlander from 30 Rock. And he was saying uh, he was he was saying that it was just really mean and he didn't like the vibe. And I was like, yeah, you know, you've given me a different perspective on it. I really enjoyed it hanging out with Sandy and Tom, but I was drunk and it was live. <laughs> I, I liked when they were making fun of the picture of Tom. I just yeah. saw that. I saw that clip on social media and it was like Tom Segura. Oh yeah. And, and, and they just start cracking up laughing at this shirtless Tom Brady who's <laughs> weirdly holding a football yes. and Bert, Bert yes. whatever was like, what Bert are you, Kaiser. he's like, what were you pregnant? Like, yeah. why did you take this picture? Yeah, that was no. great. That's the only I, part I, I saw. Why, why would you take this picture and he can't, yeah. it? he's giggling so hard. <laughs> And the whole time you're watching Kreischer, too, you're going, is he going to burst out of that shirt? Is that shirt going <laughs> to? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, local tie-in, uh, Sandy and Tom and Bethy and I, good time was had by all. It was it was, it was, was a riot. But upon reflection, the thing was, we kept looking at each other. Every time they do a gay joke, the whole room was just dead quiet, and we're looking at each other like, is this the eighties or am I on a yeah. seventh grader school bus? You know, we're just sitting there dead quiet. Well, except for Sandy, Sandy was laughing her ass off. But... <laughs> <laughs> uh, friend of the show, Amy, Dr. Amy posted this thing to my friends, Rita, because it's a picture of an elderly couple uh, and a whole bunch of other people at a salad bar. And the man's t-shirt says white t-shirt says, if lost return to Rita. And there's a woman at the end of the salad bar says, I am Rita. <laughs> you you laugh. I'm getting those shirts made next week. Yeah, follow <laughs> FB, follow oh, FB for TV for more life hacks. <laughs> this was actually one of my posts with the most uh one of them. Finding you Arita. This is a picture of uh uh Lauren Bobert and uh uh Beavis and or sorry, Butthead and uh Marjorie Taylor Green. Um and uh, it says Cacistocracy. It's a term that means a state or a country run by the worst, least qualified, or most unscrupulous citizens. The word was first coined by English author Thomas Love Peacock in 1829, but was rarely used until the 21st century. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, I posted this on my birthday, and a lot of people were really happy to learn this new term. And my friend Paul Kotheimer said kleptocracy, cacistocracy, and kiriarchy. And I was like, that's pretty cool. Now, kleptocracy, of course, ruled by thieves. I'm like, yeah, that's that's a legit one. <laughs> Cacistocracy, also from the same root as caca. <laughs> rule by rule by caca, <laughs> which I think is apropos. <laughs> Had to look up kiriarchy. Uh, in feminist theory, kiriarchy is a social system or set connecting social systems built around domination, oppression, and submission. And it's. Definitions like this, this that make me miss having George on the show to make some BDSM remark right now. <laughs> 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 Moving on. Uh, here is a delightful picture of the girls from Facts of Life wearing some really awesome collars, ties, blouses, oh, and whatnot. And uh, it's Joe and Blair. And uh, Steve Bammer has captioned it. God, I miss Hall Oates. <laughs> oh god that's oh my god yeah Moving on, uh, this is a pie chart it looks to be about 80 percent yellow and a slice of uh, pizza slices brown it says probability of me maturing brown none yellow also none but in yellow to make pac-man <laughs> <laughs> viral nova 
Viral Nova has uh, posted this uh, from somebody who's uh, uh, redacted. It says, my son proposed to his fiance about six months ago, and she said yes. They're super happy. We love her family, too. I just found out today that another girl is in love with him and plans to propose next week. Should I say anything? Oh, and also, he's four. They're all four. <laughs> <laughs> moving on friend of the show charles chandler my cousin and uh out there in dc and god bless him uh he says uh always make sure someone in the relationship has good credit that's why it's called significant other sign if i can't <laughs> 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 follow me for more marriage tips <laughs> <laughs> this next one is from friend of the show hayden noel who says sometimes people use big words just to make themselves self sound more photosynthesis <laughs> 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 friend of the show kevin says just because you look good in pictures does not make you more articulated in your speech i said kevin that is a cromulent observation <laughs> oh. I know, just to piss you off, I wanted to groan from Didi, and I got it. <laughs> Happy birthday to me! Here we have a picture. Here we have a picture of uh, some pop star, Taylor Swift, maybe, <laughs> <laughs> sitting on a mountain of money, wiping her tears away with a wad of cash, and it says, "Billionaire singer releases double album about the misery and sadness of her tragic life." <laughs> <laughs> The album is called Tortured Poet. <clears throat> and uh, I commented, oligarch, stay out of the guillotine with this one weird trick. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag pink guillotine. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have a picture of a library with a white impact font written over. It says, having a college reading level in third grade did not take me as far as they made it seem like it would. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> From the omniscient observer who is laughing at us. Uh, this next one is just real quick. PPP loans were created in 2020, and within one and a half years, over 80% of them have been forgiven. Student loans started around 1958, and over 60 years later, less than 1% of student loan debt has been forgiven. No one asked how we would pay for business loan forgiveness. <laughs> mm -hmm. From uh, the National Strategic Stockpile of Memes and Satire, and if you're not following the National Strategic Stockpile of Memes and Satire, where are you getting your economic perspectives? <laughs> friend of show marco says yeah those guys were like forgiveness for me but not for thee because lots of members of congress who are critiquing those students and their loans not being forgiven also took those forgiven loans from ppe oh, oh. Uh, this next one here is rainbows and cake and it comes with an animation on my facebook page because it's directly from me it says my biggest problem with the dmv here is that it's so fast and efficient i only had time to make one friend <laughs> what? and uh i just want to let you know that ellie and i bonded over floral design she had a really pretty boutonniere it was all sparkly it was lovely anyway so we yeah anyway so we're friends now and uh <laughs> friend of the show katie friend of the show katie when she saw this said she almost commented this is the most eric post of all <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> got about three more to wrap up the wholesome round here is a picture of uh brad pitt and in the distance a really badly generated uh other character in the movie seven and they've opened the box and it's kittens seven kittens it, it really looks like rob lowe it That's does yeah. it does not look like brad pitt yeah, Rob Lowe is not Morgan Freeman. <laughs> is not Morgan Freeman. It looks like Denzel <laughs> Freeman or Morgan Freeman. Washington. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah Dennis, Brad Pitt, Rob Lowe is just tickled pink that there are seven kittens in the box. What's in the box? Seven kittens. <laughs> From front of the show, he is near perfect. <laughs> From front of the show, Joe Klosik. And if you're not following Joe Klosik, boys, you are missing out. Uh, next up here we have. There's a name for this guy. You should know this meme. It's uh, it's the old guy. He's the king of dad joke memes. White beard, half bald, white haired guy. Yeah. With coffee cup, with that shit eating grin. It's the shit eating grin guy over his laptop. Hey. Oh, it says I did some financial planning and it looks like I can retire at 97 and live comfortably for 11 minutes. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> 
from Moneyless Society. And I'm like, man, I'm feeling that, old boy. And last but not least, Viral Nova says, people with siblings have better survival skills because they've had experience in psychological combat, physical combat, psychological warfare, and sensing suspicious activity. <laughs> <laughs> Scotched it, but it's still funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I sent that to my brother <laughs> and my mom and my dad. All my aunts and uncles are hilarious. Kicking off round two. I get it. The, we have the irrelevant round with mm -hmm. the uncreative surgeon <laughs> who has uh, Dipper the Destructor. He says, I'm the prettiest canary in this mine. <laughs> and then, and then, <laughs> a, little, a little later a little later they say what the fuck is that smell <laughs> perfect man cheerful nihilism friend of the show and really just not a bad way to live as a uh, Extremely socially distant Tom, who says we really overused the this is fine dog way too early. And uh, Dan Bennett replies, it was hard to anticipate just how fine things would get. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love this page as Bill memes it. It's a recovery page I follow on Instagram. They have this just <laughs> fantastic picture with William Shatner. And uh, he's sitting there in a suit, and he looks very debonair. And right next to him is, what's this guy's name? The workout Richard guy? Simmons. Richard Simmons, who is just <laughs> kind of totally. cuddled up to him. Wow. And Richard Simmons <laughs> is labeled is labeled me. And William Shatner is labeled, the one he's, that I'm cuddled up to is labeled, the only other sober person I know at this party. <laughs> <laughs> for, our, for our listeners, Richard Simmons is just looking at William Shatner so lovingly. It, it really is a lovely picture. He pig uh, <laughs> says, do you ever just have this deep-seated desire to bother people? I have clown blood. <laughs> this Schleicher says, imagine riding a bop that slaps so hard that for the rest of human history, no one even tries to write another song about hot cross buns. <laughs> 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 Michael at home underscore halfway says, damn girl, are you a kid's movie for my generation? Because you're fun and cute, but also horrifying in many ways I did not originally realize. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have three more. That's right. I have three more. Uh, all three are going to come from The Daily Show. All of them will be Christy Noem movie reviews. That's right. These oh are movie God. reviews by Christy Noem. First, yeah. she's reviewing the movie Hotel Rwanda, circa 2004. She says, really tragic. So many lives lost. And not a single one of them was a dog. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Next up, Christy Noem from Christy Noem Reviews from The Daily Show. Now she's reviewing John Wick, circa 2014. She oh. says, love She says, love the first two minutes. Oh, 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 shit. But it really fell off oh, afterwards. It fell off afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and my, my last beam for round two, the irrelevant round, and also the last movie review we have from The Daily Show and Christy Noem is for the Garfield movie, circa 2024. She says, Odie lives, zero stars. Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> 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 and that's all that's all I have for round two. The irrelevant round back to you, brain damage. Well all done. Right. Oh my god. Irrelevant. Gosh. Let's start it off. We've got <clears throat> here we have a three panel from Doug Chillin. And we have two guys hiking up a snowy mountain. And one guy says, How high is Mount Everest? 
the other guy says, dude, that love was so hard. And uh, Everest is looking up at him, and he's all red-eyed, and his buddy's looking at him. Everest <laughs> 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 uh, 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 says, I'm telling you, man, I can feel things crawling on me. We got 420 for life. I do this every day. We got two panel with Pinky in the brain. Yep. What are we going to do tonight, Brian? Second panel. Same thing we're going to do every night. Pinky, stay home and get stoned. So I got my nickname. <laughs> I used to tag brain when I was a teenager. Me and my nephew, we was pinky in the brain. And I used to say, same thing we're going to do every day, pinky. Try to smoke all the weed in the world. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to add the damage later because I did fuck my head up. Eric Smith posted, buddy then got sober. Here we have a cinnamon toast crunch type of cereal ad with a two panel. And before... He looks like he was curled up almost in a fetal position sitting there. He has a smile, but he's real dark and bug-eyed with a hat backwards. And then the second panel, he's lighted up. He's real smiley. He's all washed up and together. <laughs> Buddy then went and got sober. <laughs> the more you look at it, the more it makes sense. <laughs> Especially when you realize that that hat was also housing his dreadlocks and he spoke with a Jamaican accent. Ah, oh, man. Man, I don't know how That's I cinnamon. could not get off the crack this time. <laughs> Every time I tried getting off the crack, I couldn't. Man, but I finally I found John and the marijuana. Here we have Funny Side of the Force, Revenge of the Fifth, and Yoda is passed out. Yoda is passed the fuck out because he's revenge. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's yeah. written on his head? What's written on his forehead? Let's see. It says Sith. They got him. Sith rule. <laughs> Sith rule. He, yeah, <laughs> pass it out. He's got glasses and his little sombrero and shit. That's funny. Hell yeah. Good <laughs> shit, Beverly. I would, my blind ass would have never seen that. <laughs> yep, we got funny side of the fourth. I don't know how many panels this is. Too many to count. We got Han Solo, Chewbacca. May the fourth be with you. Then we have uh, what is Hoping name again? Qui Gon Jin. Yep. There's always a bigger faith. <laughs> so we have uh, Dar Jin. Uh, uh, how do you say his name? Jar, I don't know. Mando. The Mandalorian. Yeah, Dar Jin. Six is the way instead of this is the way. And then we have the Emperor. Or uh, when, he's, when he's still the seventh. seventh. I am the seventh. I wish I knew how to say these things. I should probably have TD read it. <laughs> I find your lack of eighth disturbing. A nine addition to my collection. It's treason, then. <laughs> if you know, though, if you know, you know, right? Fuck it. Let's move on. <laughs> Dirty and sarcastic posted. Tequila is nasty as fuck. But after a few shots. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> no lies detected. Just one drink posted. News. Eating dark chocolate and drinking red wine have health benefits. Me dipping my Milky Way bar in my Merlot. I'm in going to do forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have funny side of the force again. Two panel. We have Obi-Wan. Says only a Sith deals in absolutes. And then we have the Emperor <laughs> holding two two bottles of absolute vodka. <laughs> Fifths and Siths, baby. Fifths and Siths. <laughs> <laughs> this is my last one for the the uh, Yeah, uh, I, I I like going with TDs. Notice these ones had a drug team. I don't know. Yeah. Weeds home posted 100. Here we have a vape pen sticking through a door. And says, I asked, I asked my work neighbor to borrow a pen, and she stuck this through the door, laughing oh. my ass off. That's fucking great. I actually want to point out. I recognize out, that model. <laughs> point out right. that, that right. directly. Brain, look below the weed pen. There's an ink pen. She She's handed both. 
<laughs> you had so much points you needed. Dude, I didn't even see that. I did not even see that. Yeah, first time I saw it, I thought that was a shadow, but then it's I was like, look, what you time. mean, motherfucker? Stop bothering me. <laughs> Got you covered. Stop <laughs> bothering me. Either way. No, this, this, is, this, this is a true homie right here. That's awesome. Get you a pin or a Benjamin. <laughs> yep. Got you covered. Got you, baby. That is fucking awesome, man. I'm handing it off to you, Titty. Ends on pants, buddy. What a, what a lead in the round two. Everybody knows what time it is. TD's round two, or as I like to call it, the inebriated round, because who knows? Yeah, uh, go. I know. <laughs> off with work-related memes. It says, why do people ask, how was work? As if you're going to turn around and be like, it was great. Thanks for asking. Like, bitch, I barely made it through the day without knocking someone out. Holla, <laughs> fucking Luya. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in customer service. Okay. Uh, a friend of the show, a friend of mine, Bong Master Rob at Hot hey, Rob. Rob or, uh it says, okay, who has poop legs? Because it's a picture it's a three panel of like elderly people like struggling to stand up and walk without assistance. It says when you get up after spending 46 minutes on the toilet looking at memes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. Ouch. Bastard. I want you, the listeners, to know that probably 50% of this show is put together on the toilet. Oh, no, okay. no. Busted. DMI. <laughs> okay. Um, the Astonishing School of the Exiled Misfits and Mayhem. Friend of the show. Hey. Uh, it says, where's the lie? And it says, the American exchange student showing up to the Battle of Hogwarts about to change the, the whole dynamic. And it's just even <laughs> tour from the movie Predator with yes. a goddamn minigun that's usually mounted on the <laughs> side of a helicopter. Oh, this is an 80s action movie, so he's carrying it like it's standard issue firearms. I feel like Nan and I worked there when this played, and I've seen it 89 times. <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorite movies, actually. I love Predator so much. One of the best horror movies ever made. <laughs> it's a it's a very it's a very good sci fi film. Very good. We we okay. did we did work at the cinema when the Predator was playing. Eric, sweet. I hey. just that's the only movie that's that we ever played that had two people that became state governors. Am I right? <laughs> that's Most probably likely. pretty true. <laughs> Those other guys should have run. <laughs> I'd have voted for him. All right. Um. Sure to go hard. Front of the show. Speaking of it being May the Fourth. We have a picture here, probably, I'm going to say sometime in the 80s, maybe. We have a uh, person in a Chewbacca costume, and a girl with uh, glasses and an unfortunate haircut, and a t-shirt that says, happiness is a warm Wookiee cock. And she's got her hand in a position. I'm not sure where she's reaching. That's all I'm saying. Where is her hand, that left hand? Where is it? Uh, Yeah, I I don't know, Beth. (laughs) Wookiee booty. She's grabbing some Wookiee booty. And by the way, too, I'm having to look at this picture very carefully because I think this is my cousin, Samantha. (laughs) I was was going to ask if it was one of y'all's cousins. I'm going to download it and ask her. (laughs) Yeah, is it one of y'all's kin? All right, moving on. Uh, Friend of the show, Weeders. Hey, Weeders. Uh, She got a picture of a man and a woman looking at each other, uh, smiling and shit. And it says, him, damn girl, are you a newspaper? Her, no, why? Him, because you got a new issue every fucking day. Oh my! <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's funny because she's funny, got a lot of problems. Funny for dating world. <laughs> yeah. All right, moving on. A uh, friend of the sh- new friend of the show, uh, Bad Skeletor at Real Bad Skeletor. Hey, Bad Skeletor. What oh, up? Yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna love this guy. Um, picture of Skeletor, two panel. He's on top when he's standing there looking at you, going, "What's the difference between me and cancer?" And the second one, he's running away down a tunnel going, my dad didn't beat cancer. <laughs> Look, man, I knew Dude. you'd like that one. <laughs> this joke is so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> like at first, at, at, at first, you're like, oh, it's fucked because his dad beat him. And then you're like, oh, and it's fucked because his dad didn't beat cancer. <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's, there's no silver lining at all. No, you cannot just... twist this into a happy joke. He's I right love to this run show. away. Bad Skeletor is right to run away at the end. I'm going to download show. this and send this to my cousin, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once, once again, friend of the show, Bong Master Rob. Hey, Rob. Uh, he says, uh, friend, how'd your first camping trip go as, as a family? 
uh, me, and it's a picture of a woman's mugshot on the evening news. Says wife stabs husband with a squirrel. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I have been hitting the Google so hard trying to find this actual story because I need I need closure. I need a video. I need a funny photo. <laughs> I, I'm good. I, I need to know what the fuck, how the fuck, why the fuck, what the fuck. I'm good with savoring ambiguity. <laughs> sure. All right, next up, Mr. Ambiguity. <laughs> uh, friend, friend of the show, uh, Deborah M. Hey, Deborah. Hey. Um, uh, she, she's got a picture here, uh, and it's SpongeBob doing the rainbow hands thing. It says, as warm weather, weather is approaching, I want everyone to remind everyone, and it's SpongeBob going, deodorant. That's a good one. It's a good PSA. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a big sweaty cat. I will put on deodorant multiple times a day. You can too. Okay, moving on. You know, I, I wonder this, because TD, you know, we do this stuff on stage, and every day at 4.30 before that 7 o'clock show, my pits just start flowing. And uh, by the time oh, I yeah. get to the show, uh, I find myself revolting. <laughs> that, that is why I take a... That's why I change my shirt out of my work shirt. Um, I, you know, hit re apply the DDO, fresh t shirt, good to go. You know, like, dude, I, I know what I am. I'm a big, sweaty, wallabies looking motherfucker. Listen, listen, fun, funny thing about me when I was still doing stand up, I was never, ner I've never been a, like a guy who sweats when I get nervous or something. Yeah. But literally every single time I went on stage, 10 minutes before I went on stage, I had to take a shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. I, I, Your problem I, I, is much worse. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Like I, said, I I do sweat a little when I get nervous. But like I said, I'm a giant sweaty hairy man thing. I sweat because I exist. Yeah. You know. I just find it funny, man. Because like seriously, four thirty on the day that I have a Zoom show, my pit starts sweating. <laughs> it just feels. <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> apparently, I am just a snowflake for anxiety. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> All right, moving on. Yeah, yeah next up. Sorry, uh, Deborah M. Once again. Uh, hey, it's, it's me. So before Red Bull or Five Hour Energy, what did you use for a booze? People from the '80s, and it's a picture of Al Pacino as Tony Montana and Scarface, uh, just bringing his nose out of some powdery substances because it's all over his fucking nose, and he looks like he's tripping balls or getting pegged. I'm not quite sure. Oh my! But yeah, <laughs> could be both. Could be both. That was very vivid. That was very very vivid. Hey, yeah, I call them like I see them. All right, um, moving on. Oh God! Hey, if, you, if you didn't like it the first time, Thundercats and Silverhawks. Uh, once again, we have the Lion O Richie. Wait, uh, yes, thinking li like. li yes the, the perfect fusion oh, of Lion O and Lionel Richie, and just oh, hello! This is not the cartoon I'm looking for. Okay. Why are his Dude, what, it, what is what is what is with the gauntlet? What are the gauntlet and the stones? <laughs> well, no, he, he always he always had that's like why, that. That's Lionel's gauntlet, bro. You didn't watch Thundercats? Yeah, he yeah he he did have a gauntlet. Okay, apparently not. Sorry, no. Okay, all right, moving on. We'll educate oh. you on that later. I declare shenanigans, friend of the show. Hey, it says me calling JG Wentworth from jail because that's the only number I know. Eight seven seven cash now. <laughs> um, <laughs> By the way, eight seven seven cash now was not in the meme, folks. I pulled that from memory. Oh, it's a wow. picture of a, a picture yeah, of a big old walrus yeah. with his big old walrus mustache, with some kind of giant walrus cell phone up to his face. <laughs> I feel this. I don't remember kind taking this like, picture. Kind of looks like Wilfred Brimley. Yeah, all walruses yeah. look like Wilfred Brimley. Wait, 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 wait. Di diabetes. 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 <laughs> diabetes. I'm missing my foot. All right. Um. This is the last one I got for the short, uh, or the I'm sorry for round two, the uh, inebriated round. And this is a this is a, by luck of the draw, I was able to get a two for here. Uh, Sizemore, if you would uh, read the bottom and Labune, my friend, would you read the top, please? So it says, "Ultimate Dad Jokes" and so much more. It says, "Police have confirmed that the man who tragically fell from the roof of an 18th floor nightclub." Was not a bouncer. <laughs> he was a bounce. <laughs> was he a bouncy? <laughs> so, he was. No, a he thud. didn't. He didn't bounce. No, he did not <laughs> bounce. Got it. Uh, and Midwest versus everybody says queso equals Spanish for cheese. 
and K comma so equals a Midwestern woman explaining the plan has just changed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got this was so perfect that it lined up like this. I'm like, yeah, yeah, these two are for these two. Thank you guys so much. That was that was round two, or as I like to call it, the inebriated round. Because guess what? Guilty. Okay, over to Dude, you. Dude, you're con- wait, you're connecting these two. So the Midwestern woman is like, okay, so Bob got thrown out of a night. <laughs> well no i was just meaning that you know the dad it was a cheesy dad joke for uh labune and then a language cheesy. joke for you <laughs> good fucking times you're a great team i love you so much super friend actually because it was about queso mm-hmm. it was a cheesy language joke Whoa. <laughs> word comedy and Brought to us by Cheese, because our official snack food is Crab Rangoon. Crab Rangoon, official snack food of Facebook for the Blind. Love you. Mm. <laughs> cheese. I'll take the cheese. Kicking it off, <laughs> Stephen, King. Stephen King. Yes, that's Stephen King, who said, if Trump killed the dog, his approval ratings would probably go up. <laughs> Sadly. Yeah. Maybe it's worth you with him. Oh my god! And the comments on this too were like, not only that, red hats would be lined up going, "Shoot my next!" <laughs> <laughs> this next oh. one's from the show and founding zaddy George Hussein. Ah. No, absolutely who has not. Posted this one captioned to his favorite show in the world, uh, besides Walker Texas Ranger, is it's always <laughs> in Philadelphia. Uh, implications. And it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Implications has posted a picture, and it has two people from the show. It's sunny and always sunny in Philadelphia, wearing headphones, and they're going oh, two dead Boeing whistleblowers. <laughs> <laughs> because yes, there were a lot of things that George Hussein uh, Cruikshank also posted. Let the revolution begin with the classic picture of the fat oligarch sitting in a chair, being stuffed with a pipeline, and there's meanwhile there's a starving person just getting the drips. The pipeline is Boeing's funding. The fat man is the hitman department. <laughs> oh. And starving engineers are actually developing airplanes. Getting the drips. Because <laughs> all the money's <laughs> going to the... Anyway, uh, this is a picture of the uh, oh. naughty girl with the fire in the background. And the naughty little girl is labeled Boeing. And the house on fire is labeled Boeing whistleblowers. <laughs> <laughs> in the group, not me, us from End Stage Capitalism. And if you're not following uh, the, the postings of End Stage Capitalism, how are you going to know when it's going to end? Next up, we've got aggressive, sarcastic scientist who says just cool things going on. Uh, says whistleblowers exist. And a literal military weapons defense manufacturer, Boeing. And it's Don, Donnie, De, uh, Donnie DeVito. Don, Danny. Danny. Danny DeVito. I was like, Danny. Danny DeVito. And he's just labeled Boeing saying, yeah, so anyway, I started blasting. He's got two <laughs> <laughs> big shooters. Because, you know, whistleblowers exist. A uh, friend of the show and uh, uh, practically a cousin. Real. Facebook for the blind loyalty says, or don't even bother coming. Because the post from Snork at Oat Titty Milk says, the dress code for my funeral is the absolute most sluttiest outfit you can think of. <laughs> or don't bother That's coming. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, non-friend of the show and Legion of Doom member, uh, Trump. Uh, hashtag <laughs> Sleepy Don is a portrait here of him totally asleep. It says, people in the courtroom are saying he farts himself awake every once in a while. <laughs> just like my dog <laughs> moving on place of face a <laughs> uh, friend of the show Stephen Abram always posts these uh, Sunday reflections and I just thought this one was fun it says it takes a great deal of arrogance to live in the United States with over 200 different sects of Christianity all with their own unique theology yet insist that only your sect has the moral authority to speak not only for all Christians but for all people in our country as well from Reverend Benjamin Creamer every once in a while I'll say that to my mom she'll go well it's not the Christian thing to do and I go what do you mean the Catholic thing which always makes her Roll her eyes and chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I sent this next one to a friend of the show, Clay Foley. Clay Foley making the second appearance in the show uh, because he does that animal rescue. So I sent him this from uh, hey, Jay Taylor. 
picture of a busload of dogs all looking very happy in their little vest, and it's captioned, Dogs Fleeing South Dakota. <laughs> run, Lassie, run! run. <laughs> oh. Stephen Abrams' uh, uh, Sunday Reflection, I'm not going to bore you with this, but he posted Bible emergency numbers, and boy, is this great. You can just dial up all kinds of good stuff here, like, uh, oh, you, you want lots more wives? How about Judges 830? <laughs> you want to execute your first son? Exodus 2229. Haven't haven't we all been there? You want to eat your son? Ezekiel 510. Yeah. I was just going to call that one out. Yeah. I'm hey, so you, glad my father doesn't read much. You feel like committing a little mass murder? First Samuel 15, 2 and 3. That's your. Uh, that's it. Pretty good. Anyway, he's got a whole bunch of them. So follow Stephen Abram, especially on Sunday, because his Sunday reflections are pretty good. I knew this was a bit too much for you all, so I picked out a short one here. Uh, friend of the show, uh, Ms. Betty Bowers, America's best Christian posted marjorie taylor green says when it comes to marriage we need to follow the bible me pardon me i need to gather rocks that i will use to stone you to death for adultery leviticus 2010 she wasted no time <laughs> Boom. <laughs> a little over halfway through, friend of the show and foul-mouthed historian James Fell, poster based in Canada, is replying to Scott Roberts, the real Scott Roberts, who says, the Bible will never be rewritten for your feelings. James Fell, at Body for Wife, says, hi, which version will never be rewritten? There are so many. <laughs> 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 uh, friend of the show, Owen Anderson, has posted this from the Ministry of Wibble. Uh, who has a post from Really Nothing to Tell, says, as a joke, I asked the co-pilot AI if it was bound by Asimov's rules of robots. Its answer was, uh, weird? You, are you bound by Asimov's laws of robotics? Co-pilot, I apologize, but I cannot continue this conversation. Have a great day. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> then there's a little prompt at the bottom that says, it might be time to move on to a new topic. Let's start over. <laughs> Weird. Moving on. Definitely not another meme page. Post not again. Uh, not again. Says, without a queen to lay eggs, how will more British people be born? <laughs> <laughs> the real Captain Hammer replies, one of us will grow wings and fly off to colonize somewhere, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and uh the requis the re the requisite watson with an irish flag says ah lads not again not again <laughs> that was just for michael <laughs> This next one's from friend of the show, Star Trek shitposting. And if you're not following Star Trek shitposting, well, you are missing out. Saw this recommended on the After 2024 page, so I thought it was appropriately shitposty. Here we go. This is a multi-panel. Uh, we have the Borg Cube showing up, and it says, you will be assimilated. Existence as you know it is over. And this woman's got her arms out going, hooray, so long, work-related stress. <laughs> 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 the board cube says resistance is futile she says oh i bet so <laughs> <laughs> you will be what what are you doing poking holes in my face so you can start borging me out <laughs> <laughs> the board cube just pauses says you'll have no hope no personality no point Look, you already sold me. Now wire my ass. <laughs> <laughs> That was from uh, smbc-comics.com. Holy crap. Uh, this next one's from friend of the show, John Hagenbrenner in Strange Art. And uh, now I, I got to tell you what, I'm getting a little sensitive about the AR, AI art, but John Hagenbrenner was a, 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 a not a mouseketeer. He was a Disney engineer, an Imagineer. He was an Imagineer. So when he posts AI stuff, it's okay. Capitals, science does not remove the terror of the gods. Here we have a picture oh, of the super God. collider. Scientists running, and Jesus is coming out of the super collider <laughs> with the glowing. <laughs> Science does not remove the terror of the gods. And, uh, you know, I realized he was on something there. 
This next one, somebody commented just a picture of Jesus with a vacuum cleaner in the clouds. You're going, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rapture. And he's just vacuuming up sold. <laughs> big grin. Like, big laughing grin on this one, too. And finally, here at the local uh, thrift store in the costume section, friend of the show, Jamie Mattis McDaniel, says, well, this is an unexpected crucifixion because Elmo and a full-size human Elmo costume has been hanging in the cross position. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, I mean, eye grabbing, he's red, you know, and his arms are wrapped around the pole and he's, you know, right, you know, full-size human Elmo, a little unexpected. Oh, no in the in the in the thrift store there but you know uh the first commenter said forgive them elmo for they know not what they do <laughs> <laughs> he must have challenged the authority of caesar sorry render under caesar what was caesar's elmo you blew it <laughs> <laughs> kicking off round three the penultimate round with mo moler at mo moler he says people always ask me why there's a chair in my shower who the hell eats chili standing up <laughs> next up we have this picture of boris johnson this is a true thing that happened uh oh, yeah. he's leaving a polling station and he looks kind of pissed off and it says boris johnson who made the law requiring id to vote in elections gets turned away from his polling station for not bringing his id <laughs> isn't it nice to know foreign politicians make up crap to be scared of too yeah <laughs> Next up, we have Dad and Buried at Dad and Buried. And it says, the worst part about watching your kids slowly turn into a miniature version of yourself is realizing how terrible you are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boys, I wanted to ask you about this one. This one's coming from Mr. Sloppy Beans. Damn. And he says, uh, squat up for the group poop. And uh, oh, we have oh a no, 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 no. I mean, my, my, just, cheek to cheek with anybody on this. No yeah. way. It's a big, it's a big long toilet. <laughs> the widest toilet I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I suppose it's a wide toilet. Yeah. Wouldn't it be? Group wouldn't group? it be? Wouldn't Very it be funny? Rough. Very rough. You know though, but really rough. 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 I'm telling you, though, and I'm looking at it, even though it's very, very wide, it's very, very narrow, and I'm worried that looks like one of those ones where you have to tuck. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, I, I, wait, wait, wait. I always tuck. What are you talking well, about? Well, I, ditto. <laughs> but I'm saying, I'm, so I'm saying, where's, 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 my, where's my parade toilet? Yeah, all I'm saying is every poo-poo time is a pee-pee time, so you have to tuck. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, we have Dylan Farnham. He says, uh, sit on your hands before playing the guitar so it feels like someone else sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that reference. <laughs> we have a we have a couple of uh, guitar playing memes come. This is the second one says, uh, "My my girl says, take me somewhere expensive, me." And you see, it's a couple having dinner in the middle of the Gibson store for Gibson guitars, custom guitars. <laughs> for, for our listeners, those are very expensive guitars. Very expensive guitars. I like this one. It's the old trolley problem, and it's back. It says, how you imagine the trolley problem? And there's the trolley, and then there's you at the switch. There's a track with one person and a track with five people. And it says how it's actually going to be. And there's the trolley, and there's somebody at the switch wearing a top hat with a bunch of bags of money. And then there's one person laying on the tracks with a top hat and a bunch of bags of money. And then there's five people just laying on the tracks with no money, and one of them is labeled you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. This is my favorite one. And I just got I just got two more for this round, and there's Mike Primavera at Prima Awesome. Uh, wait, Prim Awesome. And it says, when this all collapses, let's promise not to eat people. Everyone, pinky swear. Put in your delicious pinkies. <laughs> <laughs> and my last meme for this round the penultimate round leaving only my post the most comes from trash can paul and uh this is on spotify and he has two selections here one is i don't like this song he's not selecting that one he's selecting the next one which is i don't like john lennon oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that's it for me the penultimate round leaving only my post with the most back to you brain damage and
Is that is that suppo- is that funny because nobody likes John Lennon? It's funny because Trash Can Paul really dislikes John Lennon, and so do I. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm, with, I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, cool. Uh, you know, ever since you guys introduced me to this fucking penultimate, uh, I hear this fucking word everywhere now. I hate this. <laughs> word, but now this is the fucking <laughs> round for me. Fuck this round. Okay. So the fuck around, we're going to start. I'm pretty sure this was that NPC that posted all those memes. I'm pretty sure his name was Matthew Smith. Let's go with that. We have a two panel. The woman is whispering to into her man's here. I want to feel you inside of me. And then he sticks his nose, his finger <laughs> up her nose. Oh, oh. <laughs> and here we have Sesame Street. <laughs> Big Bird is bringing some orange juice and some tissues and a scarf to Grandmama Big Bird in, in the in, sitting in her deathbed, and it says, "Making sure I'm in the will with a bunch of money signs." Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man! And here um, we have a bear looking at a man reading, and it says. Read the part again where she burns her whore mouth on my porridge. Thanks, <laughs> 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 NBC, Matthew Smith. <laughs> Optical Illusions now posted. Supposed to be a hand holding in the inverted heart of another heart, but what do I know? And uh, it is. <laughs> oh! 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 No! No! It's supposed to be there. So it is a hand holding and supposed upside down inverted heart for the blacked out shadow of a a regular heart, but they never connected the heart. So it really just looks like rubbing a pair of very smooth, I might add. (laughs) Very, very very smooth. Nice of you to point that out. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. I gotta hold it together. I gotta hold it together. Okay, here we have now. That's <laughs> we broke Bray. We broke. Yeah. <laughs> now that's well. Post the two panel. And panel one, it has a, a rose that says, Roses, the pH of the song is too high. I'm going to die. In the second panel, we have dandelions. Fuck yeah, concrete! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. All the way. Oh, my God. Hillary Reeves, the cover-up. There's a bottle of whiteout. The old school bottle of whiteout is almost extinct. Talking to a pen behind a corner in a dark alley. He says, yeah, I can make your past disappear, but it'll cost you. <laughs> uh, we got Cutting Edge Kelly. Posted, so there's three slices of pizza. One of them is the edge of a box Little Caesars type pizza or, or Detroit or I don't know who the fuck does it. I don't know. Square corner, yeah. Yeah, one pizza's down, and that square corner pizza has a gun in his hand, a smoking gun, and one the pepperoni pizza says, he's dead. Cheese pizza says, you didn't have to shoot the kid. And the the square pizza says, he was covered in pineapple. His whole family was. (laughs) I just put a pizza joke because Dan loves pizza. And I love pineapple on pizza, so I didn't think that was funny. Yeah, I love pineapple on pizza. I I, I don't mind. Oh, I, 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 I don't I don't mind. I don't order it, but I I I like it. I love pineapple. On pineapple. I feel attacked. Blast <laughs> me. This one I don't know where I got it from. I'm pretty sure someone's sleeping on the couch NBC. tonight. But I, I definitely, I definitely, uh, I definitely tweeted this one quite a few years ago, so it's still allowed. 
Was that? Uh, oh, hold on. Did I just hear something about sleeping on the couch tonight? Wait, what? We ride, but let's find the tape. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so here we have a, a an African American woman pointing. She has her glasses and she's looking very serious. Says, "Teacher, give an example of business failure due to careless management." Me. A prostitute getting pregnant. Teacher, leave my class. <laughs> leave my class. <laughs> post, haste, mother- post haste, motherfucker. Leave the backpack. Leave the backpack. Your shit is mine. Just some jokes. Just some jokes. Posted. Apparently, there's this weird code that if you grow up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, you can understand automatically. It says G Y A. I T M A R N B I B Y A. Say it with me, folks. Get, Get your, your ass, ass in the motherfucking, motherfucking house, house right, right now. now. Beat your, your ass. ass. Beat your ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Sing along on Facebook for the blind. This is the last one for me. Strange, stupid, or who knows? I forgot. I, I I always look at what these say, and then sometimes I remember. Sometimes I don't. Fuck it. Think I'll pass, but thanks anyways. This one has a uh, 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 um some beef or 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 some some fudge. Sorry, at, at the grocery store it says maybe not the best abbreviation for assorted because it says a s s dot fudge four ninety nine each. <laughs> You know, I've had, I've, I've had a little ass fudge. Was this not my last one? Oh, speaking of ass fudge, guess, <laughs> guess it wasn't. Here we have Lowbrow Dot Studios with a man on uh, and his best friend. He's on the toilet, and his best friend says, "What the hell, dude? I've been drinking out of that thing." <laughs> uh, nice. <laughs> Oh man. Poor dog. Poor dog. And Burn I'm headed it off to TD. And it's nice. too. For the yeah, pedal leave, yeah, leave me on a high note once again. Love you. All right. Always. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we got round three, or as we lovingly call it around here. Let's bring this turkey in. All kinds of turkeys. All kinds of in. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh friend of the show, some dumbass named Andrew Titi. Hey. I, put, I posted this a while back. It says it's a picture of like Michelangelo on some scaffolding painting the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. It says, "Yeah, I can paint your ceiling." Michelangelo scoffs himself. Gotta paint a paint a bunch of dudes with their dicks out though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up. Violent Vixen, friend of the show, uh, things that keep me up. It says, UFOs always been real. UFO stands for unidentified flying object. If I throw a dildo through the air and it hits you in the face before you know what it is, you just got hit in the face by a UFO. And it's a picture of Kronk from Emperor's New Groove with an angel Kronk on his shoulder. And the angel Kronk's going, no, no, he's got a good point. Yeah, dude. That's, <laughs> that's just facts. Yeah, it's just I mean, anything, anything's in a, a UFO if you have the element of surprise. All right, moving on. It's just blind dildo facts. Yeah, fuck yeah. Uh, shirts to go hard. Uh, front of the show once again here. Uh, it's a picture of an individual wearing a very long like duster jacket, and it says they've wrote on the back of it. Ted Cruz likes to piss himself because he loves the warm feeling between his legs. <laughs> <laughs> Some people can only get so much human warmth. In their lives. Oh, God. Uh, whoever you are, oh. identified person, bless you. All right, you. moving on. Amen. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, 90s WWE at 90s oh. WWE says, okay, ladies, <laughs> one at a time. And it, it, we got a WWF uh, sheet set from the uh, late 80s. It's got Sergeant Slaughter on there. It's got uh, Legion of Doom, Bushwhackers, 
Ultimate Warrior, yeah. all kinds of people. How do I know all this? Because eight year old Andrew had this exact same fucking set. Wow. Yes. <laughs> this is my childhood right here, folks. <clears throat> Nice. nice. All right, moving on. Uh, dad jokes at uh, Dad say jokes it says uh, NASA is launching a satellite to say sorry to the aliens. They're calling it the Apollo G. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, friend of the show, Ship Post Gateway. If you're not following Ship Post Gateway, then we're getting your gateway. Hey. Ship post. Uh, it uh, says you will never know what it feels like to push a peanut butter and jelly sandwich into a VCR, <laughs> and it's a picture of like Pepe the Frog <laughs> and a half a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a goddamn VCR. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right, I think we've answered all of our questions with that one. Moving on. A <laughs> uh, friend of the show, you know him, you love him. See you at poker on Friday, Satan. Hail Satan. Uh, it says, good at helping people stay alive, and it's assigned to the hospital for Dr. BG. <laughs> Dr. BG. You know you're supposed to, that's how you're supposed to do CPR? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, weird. I'm, all I'm going to be thinking is like, you know, John Travolta walking down the street and I'm trying to save someone's life. All right, moving on. Huh. You didn't get that. You're terrible. All right, surviving the dream, friend of the show. She says, uh, "Her, what them fingers do?" And me, and it's a guy or somebody with their hand, and on every uh, digit is uh, dinosaur feet and dinosaur claws and dinosaur head, and it's a little dinosaur puppet <laughs> thing. And yeah, what them fingers do? Rawr. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Uh, friend of the show once again, uh, Satan. Uh, Satan. Hail Satan! Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Uh, it's got yeah, like a little instructional card that says emotional <laughs> and feelings equal happiness. Uh, how to be happy? Uh, and it's a person, uh, dude. And he's got a little thought, thought bubble with a light bulb, but there's a red X over the light bulb. How to be happy? <laughs> Number one, stop having thoughts. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd be great if I didn't think. Hey. Bless Moving me. on. <laughs> Uh, thirsty thirsty people 24 7 new friend of the show yep uh it's got the classic uh meme of the animated x-men series uh the original version not the remake <laughs> just and watched it, uh, it just rewatched it this weekend <laughs> I, i'm in the process of doing that so i can watch 97 anyway um we got we got cyclops making out with gene gray on the floor and uh cyclops is labeled well, Jean Grey's labeled hot girl and Cyclops is labeled forklift certified nobody. And then we got Wolverine in the <laughs> foreground looking kind of pissed. Says, Can't blame her. He forklift certified. <laughs> and uh, ladies, this is true. We are we, we are fantastic lovers. I am forklift certified. I am uh, capable of saying this. We, we, we are just the shit. All right, moving on. That joke was a heavy lift, too. That's nice. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Speaking of heavy left, uh, friend of the show, FL Dad, FL Dad 219. Um, got a picture here of uh, a CG generated Tinkerbell looking like Tinkerbell. And then we have a uh, chunkier version of Tinkerbell that looks like me without a beard stuffed <laughs> into a pixie dress. It says Tinkerbell and her cousin Taco Bell. <laughs> Enough said on that one. Yeah. I mean, you know, I watched the films. I'm a fan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Midwest versus, versus everybody at Midwestern. Oh. So oh. That, it, it, it's a picture. You know what it is. Every yep. Midwest household has this, and it's yep. the giant Tupperware bowl. <laughs> and it's this, it's this random bowl that is used for popcorn, <laughs> trick or treating, or barf. <laughs> and tell me I'm wrong, folks. Movie night, that bowl. Trick or treat, that bowl. Oh, no. you got the flu, that bowl. Yep, indestructible. Indestructible. Oh, you all, you all couldn't them, nuke that. You couldn't nuke that thing to death. All of them manufactured in the '70s still exist. <laughs> and that's where the micro microplastics come from. Um, clogging your arteries. Yep. But funny as heck. Uh, new friend of the show. Hey. Got a picture of uh, a very fat, round, 
chunky, portly, rotund, corpulent lion standing in front of uh, Noah's Ark. It says, and the lion's going, shitty cruise, but awesome buffet. Nice. <laughs> nice. Second appearance of Noah's Ark in this show. Yes. We do contemporary uh, topics. Yeah, very, very, very we got the zeitgeist. Finger on the pulse, baby. Totally. Um, moving on. <laughs> uh, ra- ra- wrapping up round three here. Uh, we got Midwest versus versus everybody once again at Midwestern underscore oh said Midwest peer pressure is when your neighbor just mowed their lawn and you have now you now have 24 hours to respond yeah my 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 neighbor mowed his yard yesterday mm. my wife mowed ours this evening that's hilarious <laughs> you guys remember you guys remember back when Sam Kinison was talking about that and he was just like He's talking about, yeah, I used to be married. I used to live in a suburb. I'd like get down there and I'd be like, oh, look at this crabgrass. I should probably yank this out for the neighbors see. He goes, I used to care about that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you guys remember Sam Kinison was the one who yelled a lot. I love that. Yes. So, well, I don't want to alarm anybody, but we have lost Michael. <laughs> yes. Alas. All right. Penultimate round. Of course, it was May the 4th. And Joe Klosik posted this uh, Star Wars poster, and it says it's the most spiritual day of the year for those that observe. May the 4th be <laughs> with you. Hell yeah. And uh, earlier, you had a couple memes that were paired together, and I just thought it was great because friend of the show Joe posted this, and right below it, Renee Rader said, big shout out to everyone for not posting May the 4th be with you. <laughs> nah. <laughs> it, sometimes the algorithm just knows. Dude, I... I was loving it. I was like, really, it was a lot less May the 4th be with you than years past. But still some. Here we have Putting Workers First posting a picture of a stormtrooper at work in his cubicle. And it says, May the 4th is a Jedi holiday. Some of us have to work today. (laughs) Here we have Lando Calrissian, uh, and he has just been uh, snubbed by Darth Vader in Cloud City. And he says, when you realize your streaming services cost more than cable did and you're still watching commercials, Lando says, this deal is getting worse all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of the funniest things, too, I had one of the commenters on here who says, you're streaming? Oh. And I was like, oh, my God, what are you using an antenna? And then he proceeded to do an um, actually wall of text explaining precisely how he uses an antenna. <laughs> <laughs> I, I grew like, up in a cornfield in the 80s i know how those work but it still was like i mean this guy was like no and then i streamed them when i'm like within wi-fi range in this one parking lot of the library it was very it was like yeah no streaming because it sounds easier than your wall of text buddy here the funny side of star wars uh has this uh post from great harvest bread company but the lights in the side have gone out, so it really kind of spells out <laughs> best, bro. And Han Solo going, hey. <laughs> Great best, bro. Uh, next up, friend of the show, Mary King, says, light up your sabers. Our saber says, everyone, may the fourth be with you. Me, raised Catholic, and also with you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Here we have, uh, oh, TD, I'm going to need your help. It is Belle from uh, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast with Gaston. 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 Yep. From friend of the show, Hera Wynn. Got to see Hera Wynn perform. Sorry, Chandler. I don't know which name is which anymore. They're, they're almost the same entity. Uh, picture of Belle and Gaston, and he's looking at a book when he gets really confused. And it says, Choosing the Bear since 1991. With the Beast covered in things. Stolen from the <laughs> So, yeah, choosing the bear since 1991. Here, friend of the show, Kate, has posted this picture from Barbie. And Barbie is singing in her car, driving out of Barbie Land, saying, In the woods with bears. And then Ken pops out of the trunk. He says, In the woods with men. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have the distracted girlfriend. <laughs> Boyfriend looking at her, shocked. She looks at the bear. <laughs> immediate commentary on this was distracted boyfriend labeled women the the girlfriend just labeled men and the girl in the red dress labeled bears in the woods women going Ooh. <laughs> 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 oh, too early uh next 
<laughs> we have Luke Ski, storyboard artist. We have the great Luke Ski saying, Solution, hire bears to teach young men how to be more like bears. We wouldn't have to pay them a lot, just enough to cover their basic requirements. <laughs> Picture of my. I can hear the song. Yep. The bear necessities. Bear necessities. <laughs> hey, we'll get you monetized. Ta da! Because <laughs> it's mostly floating on the loo. We next all up, know it. <laughs> next up, the credible Sh the credible Hulk has this posting of art by Jim Schuenbill, Comic Designs, and uh, it is captioned. Uh, well, we have a man in the woods facing a bear, and he says, "I drive a BMW 440. I went to Oxford. I have my own podcast." It says, nature fact, if you encounter a bear, make yourself look big. <laughs> <laughs> I have a podcast. <laughs> Friend of the show, Corey Showtime Robinson, says, the ladies have a point for the simple fact that a bear has never asked a woman to listen to their podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we have a bear behind the microphone. Uh, Matt Shivers has, bear likes this, <laughs> with a big thumbs up. And his sister Anne responds with this uh, video game character, I guess. It says, a true friend of nature. Ha ha ha. Bears. Uh, feminist <laughs> News has this picture of uh, Michael Jordan, I believe. It says, yep. everyone online, I choose the bear. Literally every creep online. And I took that personally. <laughs> <laughs> friend of the show, Chandler, second time in the show. And it says, oops, all OC memes premium says gay men when they hear women are taking all the bears. <laughs> it's a very sad, <laughs> sad, dejected men in a hoodie. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's very Chandler. Yeah. Chandler. <laughs> Me and the girlies have been vibing. Uh, intersexual memes and feminist stuff says a uh, post from Supernatural here. See, as a man type person, I remember the last time a thought experiment like the bear in the woods came around and I fucking listened. It was heartbreaking. For those who don't remember it, it went like this. Ladies, all the men in the world disappear for 24 hours. They're fine. They come back. But during those 24 hours, what are you doing? And it's walking up the street at night alone, leaving my drink at the bar while I pee, sitting outside topless and just existing. Dudes, it's us, not the bear. <laughs> <laughs> this next one is another star wars meme from empire uh we have princess leia confronting a teddy bear of some sort it's an ewok <laughs> and it says just chilling in the woods there's just chilling in the woods with a bear because they're like holding hands going ook ook eek eek and then all these men show up trying to tell you why your choice was illogical and it's the empire dun, 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 dun. with that at, at walkers and the the yeah i'm not nerdy enough to describe this anymore friend of the show, <laughs> friend of the show craig smith old time pa pal we miss you coming to the show i'm gonna invite you back personally i will trebuchet this individual has posted can someone explain how one would doubt life experience like this like some of these people are making the case for the bear very easy uh, because the post is rat liker replying to at soup grub and at Robin Hoodlum and four others. I run into bears in the woods all the time. LOL. I'm a wildlife conservation biologist. Zero percent of the bears that I've seen so far have killed me. <laughs> <laughs> grub soup replies. I doubt that. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> like okay <laughs> feminist news second time in the show post dudes how could you pick the bear are you really that distrustful of all guys the same dudes on their daughter's prom night and it's the prom picture with the dad loading the carbine uh rifle behind nice. the, you know the tradition yeah tradition three four more of these left Friend of the show, Donatra, says, wow, there it is. National Strategic Stockpile of Memes. Michael Hen has posted, if you were stuck in the woods, would you rather find yourself alone with a bear or a man or a bear? Women immediately, without hesitation, a bear. Men bitching about women picking the bear. You would not pick a fucking bear, you liar. A quote, I heard someone, uh, it's Kenny G via TikTok, say in response to these types of men, this is a hypothetical question and you still won't take no for an answer. 
<laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> Dr. Colleen. Hey, Dr. Colleen says, uh, it says even God said to pick the bear because it is safer to meet a bear robbed of her cubs than to confront a fool caught in foolishness. Proverbs 17, 12. In your face. Straight <laughs> Straight from God. And finally, Chuck Borks, another portly, portly baby, says, Pete Davidson has done it again because he is holding hands and <laughs> holding the bear. <laughs> that, oh my. except for my post, <laughs> post, is my last round. So uh, back to you, Brain, for your post with the most. Oh, snap. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Michael's. Yes, Mike, Michael's. Hi, Brain. Woohoo. Um, all right. I'm pressing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Don't have to do that to are. make me feel better. Don't I'm actually to... following the rules this time because I actually posted this one. Hmm? I said, my son got me some new panda shoes. I was like, yo, the dunk's right on. This one said, nah, since you love that orange chicken so much. And here we have some nice Panda Express. Air Max. No. <laughs> I, would wear, I would wear those with pride. <laughs> and, and TD, I had Panda Express for dinner tonight. Ah, uh, word. While Crab we were on the show, Crab Rangoon, <laughs> Crab Rangoon, Crab Rangoon. Nope, orange oh. chicken and kung pao, buddy. Orange chicken and kung pao. Nice, lovely. I was throwing. I was contemplating throwing some beef broccoli. If they had chicken and broccoli, I'd do it. That's my post with the most. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I tagged Panda Express. I said I'll, I'll wear these every day to work for just one plate. One plate a week. Just one plate. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, sweet <laughs> deal. Come on now. That's reasonably fair. That's reasonably yeah. fair. That's Holy. the representatives have not responded back for comment. <laughs> you got to put it in the title. <laughs> Potential brand ambassador. They yeah, love they, it. I, 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 need a, I need updates on this Lingo. story. I don't have updates yeah. in two weeks. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Guys, wouldn't it be great if we could actually pull in Crab like Rangoon? Round two. <laughs> I want to pull in actual Crab Rangoon as a sponsor for this show. Manifested people. <laughs> you would need it. Uh, All right. Move on. All right. Cool. TD. Yes. One of those posts with the most type dealies. My post with the most this uh, week comes from me from uh, last year. And it's a picture of Guy Fieri in a big, comfy uh, couch chair looking thing with a capybara on his lap. And, yes, it's, capybara. and it says, My hobbies are smoking weed and cuddling with my dog. Capybara. <laughs> I've, I've seen videos of people training capybaras and shit. I, I want one of these giant guinea pig motherfuckers. I want one too. Dude, viva so the revolution. I've been looking I've been looking for a good stoner pet. I think that would be a good one. All right. Holy. That's all that's all I got. Over to you, Sizemore. They're slow, Dude. they're quiet, and they're soft and friendly. Aww. Dude, if you get a copy bar, can I come Aww. over with a saddle and play dress up? <laughs> <laughs> I won't even charge you. Dude, I wanna like see if I can borrow somebody's ventriloquist dummy and like do some little spaghetti westerns at your place. <laughs> I got an 18 month year old niece. I know what's riding on that thing. Oh, these are going to be the best spaghetti westerns ever. My ever. post with the most wrapping out this edition of Facebook for the Blind is from Billa Blog, who says If, let's say, Mel Brooks can be edgy in his youth, dirty in his middle age, and remain piss funny at 97 without ever once whining about political correctness, wokeness, or cancel culture, then maybe the problem is you, Jerry. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> and my final tag on that is in Seinfeld voice. So what's the deal with everyone complaining about cancel culture being a multimillionaire? <laughs> snowflakes that of facebook for the blind a fully constituted and wholly legal edition of facebook for the blind for may the 7th and i will have you know five seven it's our 157th episode coincidence Woo!
<laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Love you, George. Love you all so Love much. You, Thank you. Mwah. <laughs> Boom. Thanks for listening to an episode of Facebook for the Blind. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Oh. <laughs>